guys, welcome. This is Unfinished. If you're new here, this is the only place where we get to finish and finish matters. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Thank you for joining. Today, we're talking about love affairs, which takes us to our first question. What is your take on early marriage? Let me know what you think in the comment section at y254 and finished. I think early marriage is up to you, if depending on how old you are. And if you really think that you, you get into it, you're prepared, you can handle all the stress and pressure that comes with marriage, well and good. And yeah, and for early marriage, there are some that are forced. So when it comes to forced early marriages, that's a big no from me. But now we're not going to do that, we're not. Things have changed a lot. A lot of things are creeping in. We have the likes of uh, queer marriages, that's LGBTQ to be clear. And uh, yeah, the world is changing, so I don't really think we belong to the old system of having early marriages. But also, in my opinion, marriage, as much as it is an aspect of. Because uh, also, back in the days, I understand it used to be an aspect of your parents' also, your parents' approval. But nowadays, it happens anyhow. It doesn't have to be approved by your parents or things like that. So if, as an individual, you're super okay with that, we can't judge you, we can't say no to you. That's your own personal opinion. I consider marriage. Ni two people in India, kwa marriage lazima wakwe mature. So for me, maturity in a, determine the success of marriage. So the younger you are, of course, at some point you go less mature because you will encounter some things. So maturity is anasana. Na pia time ya kujuana, eh? dating time, ina saidia sana so that you know the person, character yake, whether for temperament, the, even the type of how do they handle the situation whereby they are disappointed, yeah, such things. Obviously, mkiwana mapema, I'm enjoy both of you. So kuna possibility mtaend up kwa single parents mnaanza ku co-parent. Yeah, it's not a good idea. Ninalingana na vinyo unakaa kimfuko. Ah na pia nalingana na unajua kuna ile maturity fulani huitajika especially ukiingia kwa marriage. Yeah. Mimi na mimi na sema ninalingana na financially if you are financially stable. Yeah. Because now you say most of young people then do not want to born baby because it's to have so much pressure for them. Yeah. But uh, if, uh, if your family can uh, have the uh, financial to support you and you can get an early marriage, it can, so you can uh, maybe it's good for you to uh, at young age to have more babies. When it comes to the concept of early marriage, I feel like it really depends on how you guys have formed your bond and your connection because most of them don't work out because it reaches a point where they feel like they're tired and they feel like they need to explore. So I feel like it really depends on how you guys met and how you guys formed your bond because if you guys formed a strong bond from back then, I feel like once you guys progress in a relationship, you guys will do better instead of breaking up. So I feel like it really depends on how you met the person and the type of bond you guys have formed. When I was going to go to the bank, I was going to go to the bank. But I was going to go to the bank. 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 My opinion hapo naona bado si poa kwa sababu lazima uko umejipanga ndio usiye tolokea ukiwa na mapema labda hujajipanga hujajua vile future itakuwa inakuwa ni ngumu kutakuwa challenges hapo mbele I think my opinion on this is a bit subjective I feel like at the moment I feel like at the moment um, in this day and age people need time to sort out a lot of things as I said subjective I don't think early marriage is something I would personally go for Especially, I consider anything before 30 early marriage. Yeah, so anything before 30 is early marriage for me. Even when I'm 29, I still consider myself a kid. So I feel like people need time to sort out of things, especially in this day and age. Finances, personal lives, knowing where you, where you are in someone's life. I feel those, like those are important things to also consider. So early marriage, kidogo, tricky for me. I don't think it's right because 
you're not yet prepared like you don't have plans like akuna vile mnaweza chungadi mtoi kama mmepata cuz both of you like i don't think mnaweza kwa make it at an early age so yeah no in marriage it's strong cuz you you will enter into that marriage and prepared and stuff so you're not maybe you're not ready for, to take uh, full responsibilities of the babies and stuff yeah kwa wale watu wanaolewa wakioa mapema kitu ya kwanza ni namna nchi yetu iko unapata vijana wengi wamesoma hawana kazi wamebaki unajua wanasemanga an idol mind is the devil's workshop wakati mtu amekaa tu sasa nyumbani anaona option ni nini ni kuoana na kuoa na hata ukiangalia juzi tumepoteza mwanajeshi mkuu amekuwa na watoto wawili ukiangalia matajiri wengi wako na mtoto mmoja ama wili ama watatu lakini maskini inaonekana ni kama wanachukulia raha kuoa na kuoana kwa sababu hiyo ndio raha wamebaki nayo ndio unapata maskini yako na watoto 13 hiyo ni kulingana na maoni yangu sasa mimi naona ni kama hii kuona mapema sio kupenda kwa vijana wengi kwa sababu hawana option nyingine wangekuwa busy wangekuwa employed wangekuwa nafikiria vitu zingine hiyo ni maoni yangu In my opinion I feel like if you have gone through all the stages of trying to know this person and you're comfortable with that I am not in a position to tell you it's too early or too late I feel like it's an uh, a personal decision but what I would advise you is make sure you get to know this person very well On to our next question what do you consider cheating let me know what you think in the comment section Cheating is definitely being unfaithful it's either unfaithful in your thoughts in your words or even in your actions yeah and uh, cheating definitely is not good it spoils relationships uh, i've been a subject of some of those not personally me but where i live a lot of relationships have really been broken due to that aspect of cheating yeah and it isn't healthy at all according to me yeah so cheating is lack of openness mm, whereby the partner want to benefit from the both sides instead of committing to one person so for me that is cheating uh, and peer lack of lack of maybe understanding a uh, situation near the other person yeah because if at all you can talk to the other person mwambie this is my potential so it's either akuchukue based on that potential you have now or I, i go to another person yeah ana ni feature feature ana feature feature simu yake Anafanya vitu wa kitense tense. Ataki tutembee places specific na ye. So I consider those cheating. Musicretive. <laughs> yeah. Kutit na mimi naweza sema ni kufanya kitu eh uh, ni kufanya kitu out of out of like zile vitu me agree. Eh uh, ndio kuna zile vitu kuna, kuna watu kuna demoneza pia freedom ya, ya kufanya vitu fulani so kufanya zile vitu amja agree na i think ndo cheating e, kimapenzi eh like for example nikwambia aje like tumesema okay like tukisema kuna boundaries like ukienda okay, tuseme please unajua mayuti mayuti sana uenda vitu kama sherehe and, and stuff so unapata ngamtu kuna ile kuna zile guidelines nyume pia tuseme manzi yako and naambia ukienda okay, sherehe unaweza fanya hivi na hivi like aki akivuka hapo mi yana wanga tu ni cheating um cheating um it depends i actually for my opinion it's not it's a bad thing yeah uh, loyalty is the priority in in the priority between between the relation but if that happens i think uh um, you can you can't to avoid the results but uh, maybe next is better cheating uh, in a relationship uh, basically is when you give another person who is not your girl the attention that is supposed to give your girl so even when you go on instagram and start chatting up buddies i feel like it, that's considered cheating even if like uh, you're just talking or maybe you're just friends you know like sometimes you can say that there's no man and woman who can be friends platonically fully because feelings may develop and so i feel like cheating is considered when you give attention to another person that you're supposed to give to your girl and also the energies 
if you give another person the same energy that you give your girl, that's also cheating. Obviously, ni kukosa kuwa mtu. Unafanya mtu wana kutrust, but to the other side, where is mtu kuwa ke? Yendo wa cheating. If I start getting bad vibes from him and the energy is off, ah, you're cheating. Tell me what you're doing. Yeah. Entertaining other guys, just like, I don't want to go through someone's phone, but if I find like entertaining other people, flirting with other people, those kind of things, I would consider that cheating. Or just plain going out, making out with someone, or going to the extreme of it and having intimacy with them, I consider that cheating for me. Maybe staying around girls most of the time and uh, I guess behaving not like how he used to be when we first met or something like that and I guess, yeah, hanging mostly around with girls more than boys and not telling me about it or maybe not telling me about their friends or something, yeah. Ni kama sasa wewe uko na mpenzi wako na ule mtu mgina kikuliza mambo ya mpenzi kama unaye unamambia hauna. Na ili hali uko na mpenzi. Sasa hapo unaanza huyu unampatia hope ya kwamba huyu yuko, huyu hana mtu acha ni kwe wake. Alafu ya kikuwa wako, huyu namba 1, huyu namba 2. Sasa unapata mambo ya side chick. Sasa hiyo ni mfano mzuri sana kwa sababu umedanganya. Kama uko na mpenzi kubali uko na mpenzi, kama hauna, sema hauna. Sasa hivyo ndo mimi ningependa ikue. I will classify cheating into three parts. That is physical, emotional, and social. Let's start with the physical. That has to do with anything intimate. Um, could be cuddling, kissing, and of course, mama yao, if you know, you know. And then socially, that is spending a lot of time with uh, someone from the opposite gender. Probably, let's say, going to Vasha, because mbono wendi na mimi, am I not good looking? I don't look good enough. <laughs> and then emotionally, um, sharing and deleting those juicy texts, and of course also sending those private photos. That's cheating, stop cheating. Let's take a short break, we'll be back with two more questions. <laughs>